Yeah, nothing's ever going to bring this little girl back to her family, but today that same family has at least a little bit more pace as they head down the road to closure and in their mind, some accountability. 14 months after Fantability was shot and killed by Sharon Hill police officers. We can, as a family and as a community, finally have some closure and begin the healing process. Today, the three officers, all of whom had already been fired, pleaded guilty to multiple reckless endangerment charges. In exchange, prosecutors will drop the more serious manslaughter charges. The family and their attorney decided this was the cleanest path to justice, as it would be tough to prove which officer fired the shot that killed Fanta. I explained to them, um, based on my experience, how I thought the matter would play out. And I thought that um, if we had gone to trial and spent all that time and energy and and um, stress, we would end up exactly where we are today with convictions on the recklessly endangering charges. And I did not see any path to winning the uh, manslaughter charges beyond a reasonable doubt. The three former officers will be sentenced after a hearing in January. They could face up to 20 years in prison, but even the judge says that is highly unlikely. The officials, they failed us as a whole and properly trained the police officers and uh, what we learned that day. We want to ensure that this never, ever happened again. Fanta's family says their civil case against Sharon Hill will now continue. While investigating a drive-by shooting at a high school football game, the officers had fired into the crowd. The family says they want to make sure everyone is held accountable and that officers are better trained in the future. I have seen no evidence that these officers were trained in real-life scenarios with um, um, practice, uh, with you know, targets popping up, and and you know, simulated gunfire. The officers left the court from a different exit, so they didn't speak to our cameras today. They will be back in court on January 12th for that sentencing hearing. They're going to be able to make personal statements to the judge. Fanta's family will have the same opportunity. We're going to have more for you coming up tonight at 6. We're live in media, Delaware County outside court. Tim Furlong, NBC 10 News.